right, first and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Brakta Yahweh, Brakta Yahweh Shah, Brakta Yahweh, Brakta Yahweh Shah, Brakta Yahweh, Brakta Yahweh, Yahweh Shah. Yahweh being the true and proper name of the Heavenly Father, who the world eagerly calls God, and Yahweh Shah being the name of His Son, who the world eagerly calls Jesus Christ. Double honor to my apostles and elders at Great Millstone. The men that taught me this truth, the elders of Yasha Allah, which is Israel, honor to you, Akim, teaching the truth and sincerity, okay? They're sacrificing their lives to do this labor of love and peace to the house of Israel that's scattered throughout all nations, throughout the four corners of the earth. That's the confusion of faces. Peace and greetings to you too. Today's discussion or today's lesson is the f exercising the fruits of the spirit. I'm going to name it again, exercising the fruits of the spirit. Because when you start to age in this faith, as you start to get older in this truth, you start to learn how to tame your spirit. You learn how to wield your sword better, wield your spirit better, you know, and um, walk in the spirit of Yahweh Shah, you know, which is the spirit of light, which is the spirit of the word, the spirit of these scriptures. You know, and um, hey, we just going to get into it because, you know, today's discussion or today's lesson, we're going to learn the fruits of the spirit and how the fruits of the spirit is what the elect is going to do. So if you are serving the Lord, you need to walk in the spirit. Now, this doesn't make you soft. This doesn't make you pussy. Or what the uh, world uh, um, uh, portrays as soft or weak, okay? Because Yahweh Shah, which is the son of Yahweh, exercised these qualities. And guess what? Yahweh Shah is a man of war because his father is a man of war. King David was an, uh, um, a man after the Most High's heart, but he exercised uh, the fruits of the spirit, okay? Solomon, many men of the Lord exercise these traits that we're going to go into today. All right. So let's just get into the topic. You know, this is Galatians. First, let me get this. Colossians chapter three. Colossians chapter three, verse 12. It says, put on, therefore, as the elect of the Most High, holy and beloved. Put on, therefore, as the elect of the Most High, holy and beloved, bowels of mercy, kindness, humbleness, and mind of meekness and long suffering. So these attributes you are supposed to have, you know, basically the attributes of discipline, the attributes of taming your spirit, self-control attributes of meekness, you know, long-suffering patience. And these are attributes of the elect. That's why it says, put on therefore as the elect. So when you come into the knowledge, the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding that you are a Hebrew Israelite from whatever perspective tribe, okay, you are supposed to fight to get these attributes, all right? Because that's what the elect that's how the elect will conduct themselves. So this is Galatians chapter 5, verse 22. But the fruits of the Spirit is love. Now, when you look up this word fruits, it comes from the Greek word karpios or karpos or kapos, all right, which means act, deed, or work. So the fruits of the Spirit meaning your works, your conduct of the spirit. Now let's get some precepts to back this up. This is Matthews chapter 7, verse 16. It reads, Ye shall know them by their fruits. So you will know a man by his works, by his deeds, by his actions. Okay? Ye shall know them by their fruits. Do men gather grapes 
or thorns of thorns or figs of thistles. So you should know a man by his works or deeds, just like you would know the elect by the fruits of the spirit, the works of the spirit. All right. Now let's get the word spirit. What does spirit mean? This is St. John. Chapter 6, verse 63. It reads, It is the spirit that quickeneth, the flesh profiteth nothing. The words I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. So the spirit, the fruits of the spirit is the words of Yahweh Shah. The fruits of the spirit are the works and the conduct of the scriptures, the living of the scriptures, the applying of the scriptures. All right. That's the fruits of the spirit. So back to Galatians 5 verse 22. But the fruits of the spirit is love. What is love? This is St. John. This is St. John chapter 6. Second John, forgive me. This is Second John chapter um, 1, verse 6. It says, This is he that came by water and blood. Forgive me one second. Second John chapter one, verse six. And this is love that we walk after his commandments. This is the commandment that as ye have heard from the beginning, ye should walk in it. So love is the keeping of the commandments. The Lord's statutes commandments was written in the Old Testament. All right. So part of the fruits of the spirit, part of the fruits of the spirit is rehearsing the righteous acts. So going back to Galatians 5, verse 22, it says, But the fruits of the Spirit is love and joy, peace. Joy and peace means blissfulness. When you look up peace, it says moral goodness or integrity. So part of the fruits of the Spirit is having moral integrity, moral goodness and integrity. All right. And what is moral goodness and integrity? Living a so-called good life. And what is living a good life? Living a life according to the words. Living a life according to the scriptures. Living a life that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai intended us to live. All right? Loving your neighbor as yourself. You doing unto others what you want done to yourself. If you want respect, you give respect. If you want positive energy, you give positive energy. You understand? Whatever you put out, you're going to get back. All right? Whatever you sow, you're going to reap. You understand? So these are the part of the fruits of the Spirit. So it reads, joy and peace, long-suffering. And when you look up the word long-suffering, it says, patient, forbearance, long-suffering, slowliness in avenging wrongs. That's why Yahweh Shah, when he was beaten, he didn't do nothing. When he was scourged, he didn't do nothing. Because he's waiting upon Yahweh, just like we are waiting upon Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. So, a part of the fruits of the Spirit is not avenging yourself. You waiting upon the Lord to justify you, or to revenge you, or to get payback for you. You're not taking matters into your own hands. You're not doing things, uh, 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 so-called acting on your own. You're patiently waiting on the Lord. That's a part of the fruits of the Spirit as well. Read it on. Gentleness, goodness, faith. All right? Gentleness, goodness, and faith. You've seen how Yahweh Shah walked amongst the people. He wasn't on some rah rah shit. You know? There's a time and a place for everything under the heaven. You understand? So there is a time period where you have to be on some rowdy rah rah shit. But for the most part, you've got to be low-key. 
You understand? You got to be walking in the spirit, walking in meekness, walking in humbleness, walking in lowliness. You understand? Yahweh Shah wasn't, you know, broadcasting itself. <laughs> his works was broadcasting itself, you know, when he's out there. His work, because of his works, the people broadcast Yahweh Shah. Because the way he conducted himself, the people was broadcasting Yahweh Shah. So it reads, it says, gentleness, goodness, and faith. And when you look up faith, Hebrews 11 and 1, now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. So part of the fruits of the Spirit is the, the substance of things hoped for, the kingdom of heaven, salvation, Deliverance from these corruptible bodies, deliverance from this polluted world, deliverance from these polluted people, these possessed people, delivery, deliverance and salvation from these uh, defiled and unclean foods, deliverance and salvation from this unclean air, this unclean world, okay, the evidence of things not seen, the kingdom of heaven, everything that's written in the scriptures. Okay, as refer as uh, referring to the things to come, because we're seeing prophecy happen before our eyes. That's why it inspires us and it, and it builds our faith when we see the news and seeing the downfall of our enemies, the downfall of the so-called white man, which is known as Esau, according to the Bible. All right. Read it on. Meekness and temperance. When you look up meekness, it means lowly and humble, which this world doesn't teach you. But the word teaches you how to be lowly and humble. Basically, everything isn't about you. It ain't about being Mr. Popular anymore. It ain't about being that guy. It ain't about uh, 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 promoting yourself and things of that nature. You you play in the back. You're being low key. Not as in uh, being slugged or lazy towards his work, but as in trying to be that dude, trying to be Mr. Popular, trying to make it all about you. When you read about our forefathers and the men of the Lord, none of them wanted the position that they was in. They just did what the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai gave them. Whatever Yahweh, whatever gift Yahweh bestowed upon the men of the Lord, they just acted upon it. They wasn't trying to make it about them. And you got wicked examples such as Saul, such, such as uh, 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 many other people that try to make it about them. And they got exposed. And they got downgraded. That's why the scripture say, he that humble himself shall be exalted. But he that um, exalted himself shall be abased. Read it on. Meekness, temperance. When you look up the word temperance. It says self-control, the true virtue of one who masters his desires and passion, his sensual appetites, not giving into your flesh, sacrificing, doing without, which is something that's hard to do, having discipline, saying no. Those are hard things to do growing up in this world. But when you come into this faith, slowly but surely, you start to learn those qualities and having the fruits of the spirit putting on the elect putting on as the elect you start to gain these attributes sacrificing doing without saying no fasting from things you understand it says temperance is self-control you want to fuck somebody up but you you withhold yourself from fucking somebody up you want to beat somebody's ass or you want to beat your woman or fuck up your woman or, you know, whatever the case may be, beat up your boss, beat up a co-worker that was talking shit, anybody that's talking shit, but you restrain yourself from doing that. Dealing with certain women because you know she got a man because that's adultery, you know? Her relationship is complicated, but you withhold yourself from dealing with her. That's temperance, you know? 
doing without, period, you know? So it says, it says sensual from one's appetites, meaning your flesh. You, you're doing without, okay? And this is the last scripture. This is 2 Peter chapter 1. Verse 8, verse 6, it says, Into knowledge, temperance, into temperance, patience, into patience, godliness. These are part of the fruits of the Spirit. Read it on. And to godliness, brotherly kindness, into brotherly kindness, charity. For if these things be in you and are bound, they make you that ye shall neither be barren, nor unfruitful in the knowledge of our Lord, Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. So if you have these attributes, and you pray to the Most High to get these attributes, and you learn these attributes, you may, be, you may very well be a member of the elect, because the elect is going to conduct yourself in this fashion. So it says, for if these things be in you and abound, that means you are consistent in these actions, you are consistent in these attributes. They make you that ye shall neither be barren nor unfruitful in the knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shah HaMashiach. So you're always going to benefit. You're always going to reap. You're always going to be bountiful in this faith. Hey, with that, I pray and hope you was edified. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah for putting the spirit upon me for doing this lesson. Until next time, I say Shalom.